M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd show you some HF on the SDR 1.0. This is a budget device, touchscreen, 4.3 inch, has a speaker here, headphone socket. There is actually a USB connect on the side here and a knob that pretty much selects everything. So let's just quickly show you that. On off, and then you've got the 5 volt out and type C charging. It's got a quite a big built in battery and a push and turn knob. So I just thought I'd show you it on HF today because I woke up this morning and it's really busy. So to change the frequency just by without typing in the frequency, you can tap the screen up here. Now, you unfortunately, you can't tap all these waterfalls, which is a real shame. You have to tap up here and enter the frequency or push keep pushing the the knob here until on the frequency it goes red and then if you want to move to smaller increments you have to push it and turn see the red's moving across to the right there you go so please remember that this this is a budget device. This isn't a this isn't an expensive two three hundred pound receiver. This is seventy pound receiver, uh, but it's made of metal. And so let's just turn the turn the frequency here. It's just on a long wire. I've noticed that when I touch it here, it's affecting what we're receiving. Uh, Forty nine to one balance with a long wire. I'm just going to turn up the volume. So I'm going to press it until this volume goes red. That's gone red. Turn it up. Then I'm going to press again until we highlight the 5 there. And then we're just going to turn it and see what we listen to. And to select LSB, you do the same again. You press it until it says LSB here. Someone there, it looks like we'll press and turn so we can fine tune a bit. A bit louder. Now they are talking politics. But this is, you know, this is HF on a budget device. This device will do airband. Let's keep tuning because of the election in the UK. Everyone's talking politics. Keep going. We'll move to larger increments again. Push and turn. Quite a few French stations on. Someone there now. The AGC, it's a bit lively. You got that here. Let's go to a station that we're receiving. Oh yeah, it receives FT8, no problem. I'm going to try and plug the audio out straight into my PC. It, sh it should decode it on the PC, we'll see. Oh, I've changed it to CW by accident there. There you are. So, let's get a station first. So, you've got someone there. Now, let's turn on the AGC. So, you have to push and turn until it highlights AGC, which is now says off. And then... Now... Turn the volume down. So it does sort of overload it, but it also amplifies it. 
So, yeah, the signal now is just looks pretty. It's not really doing anything. But it did bring in that audio nice and strong. So if I just push it again and change it to mid and fast, there's not there's no difference really. But if I turn it off, watch what happens. So I go by I go by usability, and that is if I really want to listen to that station, I'll just turn it on. It's almost like it, it zooms in on that station. So I look at it like an amplifier. Now let's try a different station altogether and see because is it the way I go by because people have sent me messages saying what a load of rubbish it's junk this kind of stuff but I go by usability and that is can I listen to HF and can I hear it clearly so let's get the volume back up to normal it only goes up to 35 by the way and that's just here so let's find another station So I'm just changing the modes there by accident. Right, you've got a weak station there, okay? You turn up the volume, you're pressing the button until it goes red here. Weak station. Now we can change the RF gain here. We push and hold. We can up and down that. I find about 26 is about right. And if we go again to IF gain, yeah, about 28 works for me. So now let's do the AGC thing, which I'm just push and turn until it highlighted it in red. And then right now you're listening. Now I'm going to get the volume down first. And then we'll go back. And then go turn it on. I mean, I think it's not acting as an AGC, but it's doing something. You are still actually getting your peaks. The, the spectrum is working. Now, how can that be a bad thing the way it's, that's working now? If you like HF radio. Are you still there, Alan? You're still receiving, dear boy. You're just waiting for you to find another frequency. And I bet you if we turn yeah, around, turn okay. down the RF gain, it's going to be better. Let's try it. It is better, I'm not sure it's if I if I preferred that. Let's try the IF. Hmm, I just preferred it the way it was, so about twenty eight and about twenty six there. Find this let's turn it off the AGC for a sec by Somehow I've lost my spectrum now, I don't know what I did. Well, that's my settings. But you can change, if you push it and turn and go to the end here, you can actually adjust the spectrum. Let me just get it to the right place. You can see I'm adjusting something here. 
There you are, you see it's changing here. So after messing around, I got the spectrum back by changing the colour, because when you go to the end, you can come, you sort of come down, so you push, turn, and when you go down, you can, look, you can change, that's the bandwidth, but go down one more, look, you start changing the waterfall type, and eventually you get to change the colour. You have to keep going to the end. It's high, it highlights here, look. So keep playing around, and yeah, it's got some nice color choices. So when you get to see it's blue at the moment, so you press and hold the knob until this goes red here. So watch, I'm gonna press turn at the moment it's gone white I'm turning the big knob until this goes red either side red text and now as I turn we can change color of the fill you've got the white line and I'm turning it backwards now look black and green so green is good but I think I prefer black which is the popular one I mean I think this looks good Keep pressing again till red is at the a red digit is highlighted. Then hold it in and turn it back to another digit, 7099. And then we can just tune. I mean, I've had messages from people saying, What a load of rubbish! I don't get it. And if we like this, we can save it to the memory by just holding this button, watch. And it saves it to the next empty channel, channel 32. So if we now press until it highlights 32, and now turn the knob, we're going through all the different channels that I've saved. And it saves everything, even airband. There's someone there as well. Unless that's bleed over. Now that is pretty sure that's airbind, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it is. I think we've got some, a strong signal here, probably from inside my house. But back to changing the channels. Let's get the speaker volume down. So you press red, get the volume down a bit. Otherwise, we get deafened. The, pro the the biggest downside is that this this does do two meters. If we tap here, I don't know if I showed you how to type in the frequency. Tap one four five. Oh, I'm going too fast. Four five six hundred. Megahertz. Oh, will it do it? Nearly. Um, it's just my fingers, to be honest. Okay. One, four, five. Then we're going to put 600, which is my repeater. It does take a bit of getting used to. So where's one, four, five, six hundred AM? I suppose AM you're going to be on what? Is it 2.5 kilohertz wide? So you probably will receive it on AM, but it will sound very weird. As soon as you change it to, you've got AM here, keep pressing. Look, it's a 9 kilohertz spacing. As soon as we go to FM, it's really annoying that they haven't sorted this. It's two wide bands. Which is such a thing because it looks like WR is active at the moment. And I would have liked, why they haven't done that? It can't be that hard to do the firmware so that when you're on FM, you get 
narrow narrow FM. Actually, I could hear the repeater then. Actually, let's just turn it up. I thought I heard the pips then. I'll grab my other radio. Yeah, I can hear it. Gee, I could hear the call sign then. Someone could definitely tweak this. So there's, there's the actual repeater there. It's only on my rubber duck. Oh, they just finished speaking. That's what it actually sounds like. You can actually hear it in the background. But we're hearing it via AM. So if we change it to wide FM, and then we'll end the video for now. It's a shame. I wonder if... Um, there, you can hear it now. That's actually WR I'm listening to. So I wonder if we could, um, you know, it says IQ there. I don't know if we can pipe out the the IQ and then change it to FM. I don't know. So anyway, thanks for watching my channel. This, really, this video is about the SDR 1.0, let's call this, clone, um, and H HF receive. Bye for now.